So in this video, we will see how to install Oracle SQL developer on your Windows laptop and uh, on Mac uh, on uh, for Mac users, uh, you can do the same exercise while running the parallel desktop software on your Mac. So first uh, step is to type Oracle SQL developer in your Google search and just hit the enter part. Once you do that, probably the first link you would see is from the official Oracle website. And if for some reason there is another link, I mean, please scroll, scroll through the all the links available and only visit the uh, official Oracle uh, link. And you will see that here, uh, Oracle SQL developer downloads is the first option, which is I have been already been to this website. So that is why it's being graded in a different color. But for you, it might be uh, in the regular blue color. Once you click on it, it takes you a page where it gives you a different uh, names of all the different versions of SQL uh, developer for different kind of operating systems. So since we are working on uh, Windows, uh, we'll go with Windows 64 bit JDK 8 included. Once you click on download, it will take you to one of the login screens. So here, if you don't have any Oracle account, you don't have to worry. You can just uh, go to create account, use your regular Gmail, Yahoo, any email uh, to create account. Once you create the account, then you'll uh, your download will automatically start at your machine. Uh, it takes a time depends on the internet connection you have. Once you do that, you'll see a SQL developer compressed file in your download section it is around 435 mb and it since it's a zipped file you can't use it right away you have to unzip it or extract it so there are different uh, softwares which are already available in windows so if you are using windows 11 you will see extract all there is an option extract all which will directly do this work but uh, if you are using previous version of Windows, you might have to see there is a different option that open with 7-zip or any uh, extraction based software you have. Once you go to that, you can click on extract here, extract all, whatever the option you are seeing. Once you do that, it takes a little bit time uh, on my machine also since, uh, since it carries a lot of uh, number of files. So then you'll see a folder like this. SQL developer 24, this is a version number of your SQL and into 64 is your operating system uh, detail. You click, uh, you double click on it. There is a, another uh, a folder called SQL developer. You go inside it. At the bottom of it, you'll see a, a SQL developer and the application. Uh, if you move on to the column type, you'll see the type of this particular thing is application wherein other you will see png file file folders so you only have to go and click on it this will start your sql oracle sql developer machine so it takes little bit time when you are doing it for the first time so uh, we'll just uh, wait for a few minutes since it so yeah so it takes little bit time this is the window you will probably see at the first time and here if you go uh, uh, this is the window you will see. You don't have to do anything here. There is a plus sign uh, on the top left corner. Once you click on it, it will ask you a few details. The server name and everything. These details will be shared to you. These are the uh, details, but don't worry. These details will be, uh, will be shared to you separately also. You will fill in these details. You will hit on connect. Then you will be able to connect to the uh, SQL developer server, which is provided by syntax and all the relevant data sets and everything is there. Once you are done with this part in the class, we'll go and see how to uh, run queries, how to uh, check data set, anything we'll, uh, we'll read. Uh, what we see in our SQL classes, we'll do the practical part here in the class only. So if it's possible before class, you can do it's extremely good. And if you are stuck at some point, just uh, messages uh, uh, on Slack so we can rectify your error.